Hello, and welcome to our channel. Have you heard the term the blood-brain barrier before? Let me take a minute to explain it to you. Just like the skull protects our brain from physical injuries, the blood-brain barrier has a protective role to play. Essentially, it's a barrier between the blood vessels of our brain and the cells, amongst other components that make up the brain tissue. The blood-brain barrier helps by acting as a defense against dangerous pathogens that may be present in our blood. Our brain has complex activities happening at the neuron level at all times. To make sure these activities run smoothly, the chemical environment of the brain must be regulated and maintained. This is exactly what the blood-brain barrier does. An important structure that makes up this barrier is the endothelial tight junction. This refers to the tightness or closeness with which the endothelial cells are packed together. As a result, only smaller molecules or fat-soluble molecules can pass through and into the brain tissue. Around the endothelial cells, there's a limiting layer of paravascular astrocytic feet that envelops the basement membrane of capillaries. In most CNS regions, contributes to the blood-brain barrier and further regulates passage of molecules and ions from blood to brain. The aim is to allow food particles and harmless substances to go through while filtering out pathogens that may cause diseases. Is the blood-brain barrier important? Yes, it's extremely important. The barrier can become compromised, such as in the case of meningococcal disease. In this case, the barrier will become more porous allowing in particles that it wasn't supposed to, such as harmful bacteria and other toxins. This can result in inflammation as well as death. Thank you for watching. We hope that you found this short video helpful in assessing the importance of the blood-brain barrier in the human body. See you in the next video.